five benefits of measuring and quantifying the numbers of solid contamination in hydraulic oil. Extend hydraulic oil and transmission component life. Enhance system reliability. Reduce downtime and service cost. 70 to 80% of system failures are due to contamination. Ensure safety in operation. Reduce equipment energy consumption. Hi, my name is Breno. I'm the National Product Manager for Staff Corporation in Australia. Uh, today I will be demonstrating the laser particle counter, uh, its features and benefits and how to operate it in, under different conditions and uh, in different applications. Before you take the test, make sure you um, shake the bottle to uh, evenly distribute uh, particles as uh, if the oil sample has been sitting for a long time, all the heavy particles may um, settle at the bottom of the bottle. So do that for approximately uh, 30 seconds to one minute, depends on the, um, depends how long the bottle's been sitting there. Or, so just make sure you shake it. And then uh, put the bottle into the bottle sampler. And then very quickly, Close the, the lid. Make sure it's closed tight. Can I go this way? Yeah. So then we connect the hose. Ensure you connect the particle counter first. And then connect the other end to your bottle sampler. First step is to remove all the air out of the sample. So make sure you close the valve. Turn the handle to vacuum. Turn the bottle sample on. You can see a lot of bubbles up here. Make sure all the bubbles have disappeared before you commence with the test. If you have too much foam, maybe you have to vent the chamber once, make sure the foam escapes and start again. This process can usually take 30 seconds, minute or two, depends, uh, depending on how thick the oil is or depending on viscosity of the oil. A high viscosity oils will take longer, low well, viscosity oils will take um, shorter time to uh, um, remove all the air. So you can see all the bubbles. Because this is hydraulic oil, it's actually gone quite quick. You can see Once we finish removing all the air bubbles, so there's no more bubbles down the bottom. So now we are ready to, to turn it off and then commence the test. So we turn the bottle sample off, open up the top valve, change the handle to pressure mode. When the machine's already set, so make sure the machine's turned on and then start the bottle sampler in the pressure mode. Before you commence with the test, uh, press for set and change the reference number under number one. So press one and then type in your reference S T A U F F. Press enter and change the test uh, number to number two. So press two, then press one. Enter. Time and date is okay. Presentation op options are okay. 
test type is triple or bottle because we're using the, the bottle. Uh, alarm options, we don't have to worry about, so everything else is ready for the test. So press zero to go to main menu. Before you press start, ensure that you flush the particle counter to remove any old oil or any air that's been entrapped in the system. Make sure you flush for at least 20, 30 seconds because you want to give that uh, particle counter a very good flush and not influence it by any other oil that was uh, left from the previous test. So the particle counter shows flushing mode. Sometimes it's a good idea to mark the bottle for the level that you want to flush. So to make sure that you um, don't run out of the oil sample. So now we've flushed the particle counter. We can press the flush button to turn it off or we can immediately press start. When you press start, valve automatically closes. So now the machine shows us sampling and the progress bar also indicates the progress of, of the sampling. This process usually takes about uh, a minute or two, depending on the type of test, but in this case, it's about one minute or one and a half minutes. So the sampling bar is uh, almost complete, and as soon as the test is finished, uh, the printer will print the result. Okay, so we have the result, <laughs> but it's not a very good result. Uh, we only have two stars. This means that the oil sample is uh, very dirty. So uh, it's outside the limit. So if you see a star like this, it means that the oil sample is very badly contaminated. So it's outside the, the, the limits of the particle counter. So this, um, the print result shows you the number of particles and in this case, we've selected uh, NAS standard, so all the, uh, the particles are, are, are printed according to the American uh, national standard. And we have also left a space for notes if, in case we want to uh, write something down. Yeah, hi, it's Breno from Stealth Corporation again. Uh, this time we're going to perform uh, an online test. So in this case, uh, the bottle sample is not required. We can connect our particle counter directly to the system. Just ensure before you connect that you have uh, no more than 400 bar of pressure in the system or no less than two bar. So the, the first thing is to uh, connect the um, waste hose into the sample, into the waste bottle. and then connect the, uh, the pressure hose into the system. So first you connect to the particle counter. And then connect the other end into the system. Okay, so now we're ready to take the test. So now we're ready to take the test, but we need to make some minor adjustments. So we turn the particle counter on. We go back into the settings, change the reference. 
from Saha Crane. Enter. And the test number to number one. Enter. And we also change the test type to the normal test. Then we press zero to exit. And now we're ready to take the test. Press the flash button and start flashing for a couple of minutes or seconds until we've had enough time to, to flash the particle counter and the hose. This is a bit longer hose than in a previous test, so make sure you give it a good flush. Um, and now we're ready to take the test. Press start button and we're starting to sample. The progress bar once again shows the progress. And with the normal type test, it's a little bit quicker than when doing the triple or bottle type test. At the end of the test, the print the printer will print automatically. So the test is now complete. So now we're going to do a similar test. But this time we are going to turn our moisture sensor on as uh, water is also very damaging to our hydraulic system. So we want to see the moisture content of the actual oil. So I just need to change settings quickly. We turn the particle counter on. We go into the settings and in the test options menu, press 6. Change RH test off to on. So press 7, change to on. Press 0 to exit, 0 to exit again, and we're ready to take the test. When we take the moisture sensor test, uh, it actually takes a little bit of time for the sensor to adjust itself, so it needs to calibrate itself. So it takes a couple of minutes before the, uh, the actual test commences. So once we uh, press start, the flash valve will come on and the particle counter will be flashing the fluid until the moisture sensor has been calibrated and it's ready to take the test. The whole process is automatic. If you can see the flashing is on. And then the sampling start, cycle starts. Automatically. So the test is now complete. But this time around, we're showing the relative humidity percentage of 41.2% at 35 degrees Celsius temperature. So the stale particle counter is uh, actually very easy to use. Um, you can use it in the workshop for previously sampled media. Uh, you can use it in the field. Uh, it very quickly provides you with the ISO cleanliness levels and the moisture content of the oil. Thank you for your attention.